What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we've got another Tesla Model S Plaid. This time with the track package. So we've made a couple of reviews on the Tesla Model S Plaid, the crazy 1000 plus horsepower Model S, but we had a couple of complaints. And well, the track package fixes the most important one, which is the brakes. Now we've made a review. We were invited by Tesla to come and experience the car on Paul Ricard, uh, the famous racetrack in France. We were actually there for the world premiere of the track pack, which was pretty cool. And Hoop, the latest addition to our team, made a review at the track. I was there as well, I drove it as well, and I absolutely loved it. So the first chance we got uh, to drive one of these with the track pack, we took it because we want to take it to the Autobahn as well, since it has that raised top speed, 322 kilometers an hour. Now, I would not do it without these. These are some serious carbon ceramic brakes, uh, actually carbon silicon carbide brakes with a ceramic coating. They are really, really good. They are very strong. 410 millimeter discs all around. We've got six piston brake calipers at the front, four piston at the rear. And the track pack consists of the brakes. You get wheels and tires, but the tires are not street legal in uh, Europe. So you get 20 inch zero G wheels with Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar 3R or R3, 3R tires, uh, which are very sticky, semi-slicks, but you can use them on the road here in Europe. But if you lower the seats, you can actually fit four wheels in there. So you can take them to a track day, which is pretty amazing. They also tweak the air suspension for the track mode with this track pack and it has more aggressive torque vectoring. So it really is, weirdly enough, a very good setup for the track. But go check out Hoops Review if you haven't yet. Uh, it is very good. Tire-wise, you get two 65s at the front. Yeah, 21 inch wheels, 265 at the front. If you go if you put those semi-slick tires on there, it's 285 at the front and you have 295s at the rear with these Michelin's. And if you put the semi-slicks on, that is 305. Now, yeah, it's a nice spec as well. I'm not going to do more than this uh, for a walk around. I've done a few reviews of this thing now. So let's just go for a drive and have some fun. Uh, drive. Oh, he has to be in park. Track mode, track mode. So it starts cooling and you can actually adjust it for track or for drifting. So let's, let's do drifting. So that gives us all the power to the rear basically. And you get a nice little display here with the temperature of the engine, the battery, uh, front and rear engines actually. There we go. So we are in the drift mode which is nice. We also have a regular steering wheel. Yes, good job Tesla. So they now offer this as standard. <laughs> oh yes, they now offer this as standard instead of the stupid yoke, uh, which I really don't like. I need a normal steering wheel if I have to control this maniacal machine. I really do. I, I do think you get used to the yoke, but you will never be able to drive it a hundred percent as well as with a regular one and this is perfectly fine so a couple things to note brake pedal feel is really really good it is a it is a seriously firm pedal um, brake braking performance is exceptional so maybe let's do a brake from like 110 like this to zero full brake That's it. That is seriously impressive. This thing breaks really, really well. And I love that. I just love the brake pedal feel. So really good job. Steering, yeah, it's it's pretty much dead. It's uh, it, it, it lacks a lot of feeling, but it doesn't really matter because it, it's like weighted well enough that you feel that you are in control. Poor. You almost forget how crazy it is. <laughs> and then you drive it and you're like, oh yeah, it's bonkers. <laughs> Ooh. 
It still feels like a computer game, basically. So when we drove it on track, I have to say I was really impressed with it. Uh, we drove it on the Paul Ricard track, which has like a lot of runoff, so you can really push the car. And uh, we did. And well, it was just amazing. It really was. You do notice the weight, of course. The thing weighs 2300 kilos, but they have been able to mask that remarkably well, really. <laughs> well, it is so fun. It is so much fun. It really is. They they really have like set this thing up to to have fun, which I really love. You can do some crazy stuff with it. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to do a uh, speedo cam because we have a big speedo in front of us in track mode. And well, we should be able to do a nice little top speed run, but we have to keep an eye on the temperatures because if they get too high, then it will not allow us to do the top speed. Oh. Stop doing that. We have to keep it low. Okay, so here we go. It is 10 in the evening, so it should be nice and empty. Well, not that we need that much space, but Okay, there we go, full throttle. That is outrageous. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at it go. Holy moly. All right, so that, that is, that is crazy. It really is. This thing is so fast. And the way it just demolishes this, this speed. 322, don't think it will go quicker than that. Oh my God, that is intense. Holy moly. Oh, this thing is so crazy, it really is. You just can't, you just can't beat this, you know, value for money wise, power for money wise, you just can't beat it. Performance is just outrageous. So the track mode now also features like extra cooling for, uh, you know, after having done a, a quick lap, you can do a cool down and the car starts cooling down the uh, battery and the, and the motor. You, you can actually see the temperatures going down here, uh, which is a good thing. So we just hang out for a while at normal speed like 130 and it should cool down pretty quickly so what have they done well most of it is firmware basically they they changed the way the air suspension works so that it copes with the power better than before that is the main change uh, to the car i would say hardware wise of course you have those brakes wheels and tires uh, but then the car has to be able to cope with it as well you know okay so cools down nicely okay so when that car is done overtaking I'm going to floor it and I want you guys to to keep an eye on that truck in front of me okay how fast I'm going to pass that truck it is going to be crazy so there we go that is from 100 kilometers an hour and there we go that is <laughs> that's so sick The way this thing just keeps going and the lack of gear shifts is also kind of enhancing that feeling that's 328 come on baby no it won't go faster than that as you can see the battery temperatures are running hot on the right there so i think i have to cool it down again so that is a downside of course to this you're extracting so much power from this thing that it just runs so hot uh, even though they have improved this a lot they have improved the cooling and 
you know the ability to extract power from it they have really done a great job on that recently but still if you do stuff like this it apparently it is going to run hot so what happens now if i just keep going little bump test well that's very very good So it's limiting there. So 300 and now everything is red. So that is it. But 328 and the way this thing goes up to that speed is just ridiculous. It really is. It is so much fun. And the way you can just throw it around, slide it around, uh, it's it's crazy. I love it. I, I Honestly, I love it. I know that some of you think that we are getting paid by Tesla to say these things or something like that it really that is not the case I love internal combustion engines but you just have to you have to give it to them you have to applaud this you have to respect what they are doing with this car because it drives so well it handles well it goes like hell it's not that quiet I think there's a lot of tire and wind noise and they got rid of 100 kilos in this car the the recent model s um, and they, instead of sound insulation, they put some microphones in here and it's noise cancelling through the speakers basically. But I don't think it's working that well yet. Uh, but like everything with Tesla, you, it basically needs time to develop. Uh, but other than that, I mean, this car is amazing. Absolutely love it. Oh, that's very aggressive regenerative braking. Holy moly. <laughs> awesome so i hope you guys enjoyed this this is review number four i think with the tesla model s plaid but you know it, it just keeps getting crazier it really does thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle make sure you check out this video by hoop at the paul ricard track or check out this reviews playlist see you the next one bye